Hi, and thanks for joining me on this edition of How I Use SERP Woo Daily. I'm your host, Jason Brown, the co-founder of SERP Woo, and in this episode, I'm going to show you what I look for to prevent problems hitting the first page, or at least knowing about them before their problems uh, when they hit the first page. And essentially with SERP Woo, since we're watching the top 20, the top 30, and even the top 100 for you within Google, it's very easy for us to help you spot potential problems. Uh, these potential problems could be a negative review that uh, has just popped up in the 17th place of Google, uh, maybe even the, the 13th place of Google, and now you see it and you know about it, and you could potentially uh, try to you know warn your client about that if you're in reputation management. You can be proactive and start making more websites so that they land on, on the first page to push that down. Uh, the fact is is that that you can try to handle it before it cracks the first page of Google for that keyword. If uh, if you're into selling products, you might be able to spot a, a new competitor that uh, is again 17th today, or they've been uh, at the bottom of page two, and now they're slowly rising up to page one. You can kind of uh, find out more about that competitor and see if they're writing new content or gaining new links. You know, what's going on to move them up, to propel them up, so that maybe you can mimic that or uh, at least you can know about it so that when they hit the first page, it's not a surprise to you. So the project that I've put up is Vitamin C Serum. Uh, that is an industry that I've got several friends in and I've watched this SERP for them. And to show you what I would do uh, to, to look at this, I, I would probably look at this weekly. Uh, currently, I'm looking at it monthly because it has not been a very volatile. Things haven't been move, moving around. But when I do check this stuff, one of the first things I do look at is volatility, just to make sure that I've got a good gauge. Um, volatility for this keyword has been almost non-existent the last 24 hours today and yesterday is extremely low. Even 7, 14, and 28 days ago are, are fairly low. Anything under 20 uh, is typically low. Uh, once you get past 20 and you get up into things like 50 and 60, it becomes extremely volatile. And anything that you're looking in the chart, you kind of have to question at that point if you're getting really high volatility numbers. But we've got a great baseline here. So I know that when I'm looking at the chart, I'm actually looking at things that could be competitors who are improving their websites. I'm not dealing with an algorithm. I'm not dealing with penalties. I'm not dealing with negative SEO potentially in the SERP. I'm dealing with a normal fluctuation within the SERP. Um, so because I've got a good baseline here, I go on to the next part, which is essentially looking over uh, our chart here of the different rankings for these domains and URLs. One thing I spot right away looking at this chart uh, is this person here, the everygirl.com. This is a perfect example. Uh, because I'm checking this monthly, I actually missed this. If I would have been checking this weekly, I would have seen uh, last week, potentially a week and a half ago, that this website was bouncing around the bottom of the second page uh, at 18, 19, 20, and then they skyrocketed up into the first page, uh, eighth, uh, looks like fifth and now they're seventh. If I would have been looking last week or two weeks ago, I could have known about this competitor and known that potentially, uh, you know, that they could crack the first page. I wouldn't know for sure, but it would have been a potential. And I could have researched this competitor and found out everything about them before they hit the first page. Um, if, if I was the site owner, and I, I had this product and this website here, the Every Girl is competing with me. I could have woke up today or yesterday uh, or early last week and found out that, that they're now in the top 10. And why? How did they get in the top 10? Now I've got a new competitor. Maybe they're ranked above me or they're right below me. And now I've got to deal with them. Um, you know, that's what I want to avoid. That's what I want my customers to avoid. Uh, so if I would have been checking this weekly, this would have been the perfect example of you know trying to to forecast and find out and learn more about my competitors or or some potential issue uh, that I would at least been aware of and ready for. Now, when I look at the rest of this chart, uh, I found out a few more interesting things here. I'm going to make it a little bit cleaner for you. Um, let's just 
go down until I get to the um, the ranking I want to show you. This one right here, TimelessHaw.com, uh, another perfect example. They're at the bottom to mid of the second page for the beginning of the month, and then as we go forward, they're slowly inching up to the top of the second page. This is definitely, definitely somebody that I want to watch and keep track of because they could crack the top 10. They could be uh, taking over my spot, going above me, or coming in right below me, just like the Every Girl did. Uh, I want to watch this site and I actually want to find out more about it. You know, why are they slowly inching up? Is it uh, new content? Is it new links? Have they redone their website? You know, this is something I want to keep track of because if this is a website getting ready to crack the top 10, I want to find out what they're doing and I want to get an idea of how good their SEO actually is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually lock this in. Uh, the, 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 the way that you lock this in is you just actually just click on the result uh, and now I'm not going to get all of the uh, uh, you know other listings because I've locked it in. It's locked it down here at the bottom and I actually want to look at the website. So they're definitely selling a product similar to my friends. My, my, my friends actually have a 10%. So this is very interesting now that they've got a 20% vitamin C plus E serum. My friends deal with just a 10% vitamin C, no vitamin E. Uh, so this is definitely helpful information. If they crack the top 10, this would definitely be a really good competitor to them, a very strong competitor. They're priced at the same price point. They have the same uh, size bottle, so the quantity is the same. Uh, now, I don't know if these re reviews are actually real, but, uh, you know, they've got 3,154, it looks like five-star reviews. The reviews are recently dated. Uh, you know, th this is a very good, uh, strong competitor. Now, I went ahead and actually pulled them up in um, our uh, tool that, that we can provide for you with SEO Profiler. Uh, if we go back to the dashboard here, you can actually click on the Open Link Profiler and it'll open it up for you. Uh, I've just put in TimelessHaw.com as far as their backlinks so that I can look at their backlinks. Uh, looks like they have 1,500. Um, here's how many is to the home page. This was updated recently, so I know this information is going to not be ancient and old. And as I scroll down, I can see all of their backlinks. So this could be something that um, if I was behind on SEO, I could go evaluate each of these backlinks and try to get one myself, potentially. Or maybe I could learn a new SEO strategy, a uh, new outreach strategy. Uh, but looking through here, I can tell that uh, they're definitely doing link building. Uh, you know, there's some 2018 in here for May, for March. We've got some older links as well. Uh, this is the actual page here. Uh, it's definitely a vitamin C serum anchor going to the page that we just looked at. And this was, uh, yep, in May, May 2018. So... You know, potentially what's happening is they're producing some new content, uh, but they're definitely building links. They're definitely going out and getting links, um, you know, downloading this list and looking at their different anchor text. Um, you know, here's timeless 20% vitamin C and E uh, serum. They, they've got it towards just vitamin C serum. You've definitely got um, the brand name. You've got the uh, uh, non-anchored. Uh, text, uh, you know, as a link also. Uh, so this is definitely something good to look at and just find out, you know, what anchor texts are, are pushing people up, uh, where people are getting links, especially if they're your competitors, what the ratios are, how old the links are. Um, you know, this is definitely a good exercise uh, for me to have came in here, found out about this website, um, and try to you know figure out what their links are. Now I'm going to do something different. Uh, I'm actually going to look at uh, 
their links in Google here. And I'm going to set the time range to this past month. Yeah, they've definitely been building uh, links in April, seven days ago, potentially. Uh, so several stuff with um, April. So they're definitely going to promo and coupon sites like this promosdaddy.com. Uh, they're definitely getting potentially bloggers and people to talk about them because this Beauty 101 by Lisa, uh, you know, here's definitely where their uh, link w was at. There's a, a say $5 off. They're even getting people uh, potentially it looks like on YouTube to promote them. So let's look at this YouTube. Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome oh, to Hot Flashy. Angie. Today's video is an update. Don't want to listen to you. Um, so let's see here. Uh, this is definitely within their industry. You know, it looks like a video about menopause. Um, but it's still related to their audience. I don't see any comments here, but let's look for a link. Oh, right here. So if you were somebody that uh, were not utilizing YouTube, whether it was creating your own videos or getting links on people who have videos. It looks like this video was uploaded April 17th, 2018. I'm going by the date here off Hot and Flashy. Uh, so this was just, you know, within a month. Uh, you know, it's not uh, an old established video that somebody updated with links, but um, clearly these people reached out or somehow this lady knew about this. Uh, I'm sure she was paid for it. And she's just added the discount code, uh, you know, to her videos. She's probably getting a kickback for it. So she probably got paid for it uh, up front. And now she's getting a, pick, a kickback for, for each sale. Either way, this is a nice link uh, that's helping propel this website, Timeless Ha, in this vitamin C serum um, um, SERP. So this would definitely be, be be something that you could look at, maybe learn, hey, you know, we need to go get some YouTube links or citations. Um, you know, go through this list and see if you can reach out to these people. You know, now that I've looked at that video that was called Hot and Flashy, I, I can definitely see that there's Hot and Flashy uh, links and they all look fairly new. Uh, they all look like they're May 2018. Uh, so this is probably some kind of, um, let's just check it out here. It, th this is probably some kind of partnership. Uh, it says that the website's not available, actually. So maybe this website just recently got taken down. Uh, but obviously, there is some kind of promotion going on. There's a lot of these hot and flashy links, so that's probably the bulk of their new ones. Um, but yeah, I just go through here. Uh, I, you know, look for your competitors who are coming up in the world. They uh, definitely don't have to be anybody new. I, I mean, here's a YouTube one in here at, at 18. I'm, I'm curious uh, because this just popped in to, to the bottom page. Uh, I'm curious if this YouTube is that hot and flashy. So we'll just scroll down here. Welcome to another video from Poppy Austin Organics. Let's just go ahead and pause that here. Uh, yeah, this is not hot and flashy. Uh, I'm not seeing any comments yet. That that might have been because I paused it. But uh, let's just look through here real quick. Yeah, they've definitely got uh, some links on here. These are probably affiliate links. I don't want to click on them because I don't want to get retargeted. But, uh, you know, there's definitely a... Um, YouTube is being used uh, more than likely um, 
the people that we're looking at, Tom, Timeless Hall, they they're, they're, they're probably don't have their affiliate link on here. This video is clearly ranking because the title is Vitamin C Serum. Uh, but this could give you an idea that if you were in the vitamin C serum space that you need to look at YouTube. This would be a classic indicator that if you're not in YouTube now, you definitely need to be either because you're making your own videos about vitamin C or because you're leveraging other people's videos and getting a link, uh, you know, in their comment section or, uh, you, know, in, you know, in their description of their video. This would be a very useful tool for you to help you with your SEO. So this is something that I try to do monthly. You know, just look at competitors. I try to look at negative reviews. I, I try to see what's on the second page, what could creep on the first page. And I'm always trying to find out something new, whether it's something about this YouTube video or something about Timeless Ha and the backlinks that they're obviously building, or even uh, that I've shown you earlier, the every girl, uh, you know, going and looking at their links at the every girl to see if, uh, you know, p potentially if they're doing a lot of new link, you know, link building, you know, let's go ahead and just look them up. Uh, the every I'm going to do it in Google here. I need to change my time settings here. I mean, they've got, uh, you know, a few updates, it looks like. Um, it's mostly, you know, their Twitter, their Instagram, uh, their Facebook, it looks like, or at least somebody's Facebook. But they are getting some links. Um, doesn't look like the same type of links that ThomasHaw.com was doing. Let's just check these people out real quick. Yeah, this domain has a lot of links, uh, a ton of links. So potentially this was, you know, what this tells me is this was already an authority site. Uh, you know, they've got almost 75,000 active links. Uh, 36,000 of those are going to the homepage. Um, I mean, this is a, a very <laughs> uh, influential and authoritative site. So potentially what happened here was, uh, you know, they've already got an established site. They write about many things, topics that probably girls like to talk about, and they just happen to have a post about vitamin C serum. And because they're already an authoritative site, this new post and this new topic ranked very easily. And uh, as more people read it and more people linked to that new page about vitamin C serum, probably an article that they pushed out, that got them to the first page of Google. Um, However, you can do the same thing here and try to look at their backlinks and uh, emulate, see if you can get the backlink yourself. Um, there seems to be, you know, a lot of blog type links. There's probably uh, maybe some private blog networks or at least uh, articles that they're writing. You know, maybe they are an author at like the Huffington Post or at women.com, but they're definitely getting, you know, links to them that are either their homepage or even stuff about meal preps. So I, I think what uh, I would pull out from this analysis is, is the Timeless Haw is definitely somebody that's trying to get into vitamin C serum specifically and skincare specifically as somebody selling a product. Uh, the everygirl.com is just an authority site that's writing about uh, topics like meal prep and things that girls like to talk about. And they just happen to have an article about vi uh, vitamin C serum. So even though they might be ranking first page, uh, if I'm selling a product, they might not be a competitor to me. They're just informational. Whereas Timeless Haw would be a competitor. That, that's very important to remember. Uh, but we are going to look at...
now that we've um, looked at what this is here, we do want to look at their, their page. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely uh, not somebody that's, that's selling a product. It's, it's more informational. Do you really need a vitamin C serum? Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, the answer is yes. And let's see if they're promoting anything here specifically as far as a product. So they do have uh, some products here, I guess, where they've reviewed, and maybe this is like their top picks. What would be important here is that you could potentially get uh, a comment in here for a link to your website or to your product. You could also potentially reach out to Jordan and... Uh, you know, ask if uh, they can specifically review your product on another review, like a newer review that might come out in the future. Uh, you might be able to contact Jordan and ask if your product can get into this page specifically and get reviewed. Uh, and there might be some kind of monetary exchange that goes on there. But what's really important is this isn't a direct competitor, but this is something where, you know, you can get eyeballs to your product. If you play your cards right, you can drop a comment. Um, I'm not saying that, that this website's not important, but it's not like ti Timeless Hall where they're, they're really directly competing with you. But you would want to potentially reach out, see if you could uh, gain a link or some exposure on this website because, hey, they're ranking on the first page of your SERP here. So that's how I use SERP Woo daily. I hope this has been informative or at least gave, given you some new ideas, uh, you know, whether it's distinct, you know, distinguishing who is your competitor, how you can get links, finding out trends like with YouTube within your SERP, uh, or even just knowing about problems before they pop up on the first page and cause you or your clients a lot of grief. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.